In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of TIA Designer, TIA Designer 8.0. So we're going to start on the jboss.org slash TIA Designer page as shown. To go to the install instructions, go and click in the menu on the download and install link. That'll take you to the download page for TIA Designer. Go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. That'll show you the install instructions. Essentially what we're going to do is go through these three steps as outlined to install TIA Designer. So step number one, let's go ahead and install our Eclipse IDE. Click on that. That's going to take you to the Eclipse page to do your download. You'll see the first item is the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. We're going to go ahead and download that. I'm on a Linux 64-bit system, so that's uh, the version that I'm going to download. Um, at this point, I've already d downloaded. I'm not going to wait for the download, so I'm going to go back to my file system. On my file system, I've created a folder, Designer 8.0 install, and I've downloaded the Eclipse tar file into that folder. So to go ahead and install Eclipse, you can go to a terminal window. and go ahead and untar that. Okay, so now you can go back to your install folder. You'll have an Eclipse folder. You can go ahead and launch Eclipse, double, double click the Eclipse icon. So when Eclipse launches, it's going to prompt you for a workspace folder. And we're just going to create a workspace folder in our Designer 8.0 install directory. Okay, so we can go ahead and browse. There's our 8.0 install. Create a folder. OK, click OK. So there's our workspace, click OK. Now Eclipse is going to finish launching. OK, so now we've successfully installed and launched Eclipse. Let's go back to our install instructions. So we've done step one. Now we're going to move on to step two. Um, we're going to install JBoss tools um, from the update site. That would be option B. So we can go ahead and copy that link address. Now let's go back to our Java, um, to our Eclipse install. I'm going to close the welcome page. Go to help install new software. Oops, I want to add JBoss Tools. Paste that location and click OK. So now this is going to show you all the available features. Uh, what we want is in the abridged JBoss Tools first item, expand it, scroll down to JBoss AS Tools and check that. Click Next. This will take a, a minute. It's going to go out and calculate all the requirements. Here's our install details for AS Tools. You can go ahead and click Next on the license page accept the license and click finish so this is going to go and pull down the JBoss AS tools 
software and install it. Uh, again, it may take a minute or so. This doesn't take too long, so it's downloading. Uh, get a security warning, you can okay that. Okay, at this point it's installed the JBoss tools and it's telling us we need to restart. I'm going to say no because we have another feature to install and that's our TIA designer feature. So go ahead and click no here. Now we're going to go back to the instructions. So we've got step two done. And we're going to move on to step three, install designer into your Eclipse environment. Go down to option B. We're going to do the same thing. Copy the link address. Go back to your Eclipse installation. Help. Install new software. Add. And I'm going to type Tia Designer. and paste the link location. Click OK. So now we see our data services feature. I'm going to select all of them and then we want to uncheck the TIA designer test. We do not want that feature. So go ahead and uncheck and click Next. Uh, again we see our install details and we can click Finish this is going to take a few minutes so I'm going to go ahead and pause here to save time so again we get a security warning we can go ahead and OK that and the install will complete uh, now I'm getting prompted to restart Eclipse this time I'm going to say yes and so Eclipse is going to relaunch we get prompted for the workspace. Um, this is the workspace that we created um, initially. Go ahead and keep that and click OK. And we can click yes to allow the uh, statistics gathering. So Eclipse comes up to the default Java EE perspective. Um, so in order to switch over to the TIA designer perspective, we'll come over to this toolbar and there's a little icon, open perspective, click on that. And scroll down to TIA designer, click OK. So then we switch over to our TIA designer perspective and at this point we're ready to start modeling. We've got our model explorer over here. We can uh, create a new project. Um, and start modeling. So at this point this concludes this video that shows you how to install the new TIA Designer 8.0. I'd like to thank you for watching.